Hello from Farland. Um, what have I been doing? Well, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to make the, uh, the canopy for the island platform over on Howe Street. As you know, I have these beautiful little things for one side or another. I don't really want them on the island, though, because they're so dark underneath. So, um, I'll probably use these on the station side, these, and use this design that I'm working on over on the island. I've built, uh, or I started to build one prototype, discarded that, and, uh, and completed another prototype, still didn't like it, went back to the drawing board, and, uh, up with this. It'll be uh, all painted gray and weathered severely, of course. But these two angles down the center, they're what is going to support it because I left the gap exactly right for this uh, 20 thousandths card. And if I put it in, a, if I cut out a pieces, ooh, can't get it back in. If I cut out pieces in a triangle, then it will support it rather nicely. Of course, they won't stick through naturally. And then uh, the the rest will be filled in with glass, and I'll probably put a couple of uh, put some framing up there. I'll just lay it over the top. I won't inset the windows into it. But just to give it a look as though it, it's stronger. But this, uh, this is quite strong. I had, uh, it was, uh, I had to be very careful when I cut out the pieces to get them exactly the right width and everything. And I've built enough here for five um, double-sided ones. In other words, a side here and a side here. And hopefully have about the right overhang. Um, you know, good to my eye. I don't know if it's right or not. I put these... I put the structural angles way out at the edge so that I can fasten a fasten something to them if I want to to uh, support the, uh, the edging. So I have one piece completed, and I'm going to build the other one. And then I'm going to put one section together and try it out before I start assembling all of them. Because it's actually quite a bit of work. So when I get the other half built, I'll come back. I'm, I'm gluing together with this uh, plastic bond, bonding. It's essentially the same folks that make the Plastistruct. In fact, it's designed for the plastic So I'll do that, and I'll be back. Those will not be the um, the supports I'll use. I I just made those temporarily to get it up roughly to height, so I can see it and you know where it's going to go. The foot's not exactly straight. Neither is that one. Oh well. But it's roughly in the middle. Line it up on those. Uh, that one's loose. Uh, right, line it up on the. Um, Lined up on the, the support or on, on the center of the platform, and uh, then it's going to be that's about I mean, that's where it goes dead center on the platform. 
quite happy with it actually. We'll take a closer look in a minute, but let's pull the train in there. I think I've got the sizing about right. Certainly don't want it sticking out so far that it catches the exhaust on the locomotives. And I don't think it does if you look at it from down here. There, that's better. Kind of a, a endo view. And uh, I don't think it will catch the exhaust uh, much. Yeah, it might peel off a little bit, but I don't think so. Especially when the edging, the edging goes on. Of course, this end will be filled in. The other end will be filled in up above. And then the platform edging below that. So it'll actually be another... I don't know, five millimeters higher than it is now. And it will be uh, treated so that I can put lighting up in the middle of it. Okay, here comes a segment where um, I thank uh, uh, subscribers and viewers from around the world. Um, I'd like to say hi to Ireland. Yeah, got a few people in Ireland like to watch. Spain, hey, a little more in Spain actually. Um, and New Zealand, hey New Zealand. How you doing out there? Mark, you getting along. I know you haven't seen me run my Network Southeast uh, stock. I've got 10 of them. They're Bachman, all of them. And honestly, they don't run very well on, on this layout. To be perfectly honest. They can't handle the super elevated curves. I asked Richard at um, Ever Junction if he was ever, ever had any trouble with them, and he said yes. And uh, he offered up the same suggestions that, that I've been uh, trying to follow. One was to reduce my super elevated curve. Well, I, I don't think I want to do that, at least not yet, especially just for one set of uh, just for one set of coaches, because everything else runs just fine. And I gotta say, Hornby coaches run a lot better than uh, the Bachman ones. I've had a lot of trouble with Hornby uh, locomotives, but uh, their uh, coaching stock is fabulous. At least that's what I think. So today I'm gonna run the uh, Class 25 if it behaves. It's been acting up. And I'm gonna run the Class 22. I like that little rascal. And the uh, the first Great Western DMU. So that's what's on the track today. Some days I wish I had some sort of a fiddle yard, but my wife says I cannot knock out the wall to the south, the one behind you, as you face this way. That way is south on the layout. I mean south on the house. So. Anyway, she says no, so no fiddle yard, I guess. I've got a perfect place for it. I know just how I'd set it up. But the answer is absolutely not. I have enough space as it is. That was the word that came down. Oh, well. Okay, well, that's good. Let's, uh, let's run a few trains. I made some additions. Uh, I'm still working out the details on my... Uh, on my platform covers, canopies. I'll get that sorted after a while.
Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye from Farland.